Tropical Storm Adrian finally starts off the 2023 Eastern Pacific hurricane season. Currently located at 15.2 degrees north, 106.2 degrees west, and has literally just become a tropical storm, and is the second latest tropical storm to form in the basin, only beaten by Agatha in 2016, which was in July. Right now, based on satellite appearance, the storm is estimated to have winds of 50 miles per hour, that's winds of 80 kilometers per hour, and a pressure just below 1,000 millibars at 999. So what the storm is looking like right now, it's mainly gotten a southern wind field dominant side on it. Either way, it is incredibly small. I have to be said that it is a lot smaller than what we were forecasted originally to be. It was forecasted to be a lot larger than what it is now. Right now, the storm is located 280 miles away from Maruta. Uh, Marata, my bad on the pronunciation of that. 295 from Manzanillo and San Patricio. 350 from Zihuanateo and 440 from Acapulco. Uh, we aren't expecting any land effects from this storm over the next five days, so that's good. Uh, most most areas along Mexico should be concerned more so with Invest 92E off to its east. That one could also be a land threat, or could be a bigger land threat than what Adrian will be, and could even be a hurricane landfall threat right now. Uh, NHC are giving that 80% chance of formation there. You can see it up in the top left-hand side of the corner. An ASCAT parents earlier around noon Eastern Daylight Time, I believe that's around 7 a.m. Pacific, uh, got winds of 45 miles per hour on, on, on the system, which was, eventually led to NHC calling this a tropical storm, and we've gone 50 miles per hour based on continued improvement from that. Our latest forecast cone pretty much is, it is a exact copy from the uh, National Hurricane Center forecasting an 85 mile per hour peak. Uh, hurricane uh, mid category 1, could it uh, push category 2? We'll have to wait and see on that. Some uh, intensity guidance just suggests that rapid intensification is possible over the next 12 to 24 hours, maybe even beyond that, even. Uh, CJ percent temperatures are peaking right now, so uh, we'll have to wait and see what agents made up over the next 12 to 24 hours, maybe even beyond that. Could you get the category 2 stages? We'll have to wait and see on that. But you see, they're stage 4 and 5. Recurving north, how does that interaction with 92E um, take place with the system? We'll have to wait and see on that. As I said, season temperatures are peaking right now, around 30 degrees Celsius. They are forecast to gradually decline over the next few days. But most likely the uh, demise of Adrian will be due to increasing wind shear. It absolutely spikes on Friday. ASWRF, interestingly, has a track record of being very high on the intensity estimate. Not going very high, going with a peak of only 80 miles per hour. Not, no rainfall threat, thankfully, uh, on, based on the HWRF, and that is likely to be the case throughout the duration of this storm. You can see that the, there is the RAM diagnostic plot. Most models keep this uh, as a tropical storm, which is very interesting. Uh, they, they've backed off that hurricane peak. Wind shear is moderate at most right now, but um, has to be said that models are not uh, representing this storm's true intensity very well. Uh, they are sort of lagging behind the satellite appearance. It's gotten a wonderful satellite appearance and a nascent eye developing on visible satellite imagery, which we'll you see here in just a second. And here it is. Looking at the storm right now, wow, uh, you can see there very clearly it's a developing eye. Uh, microwave imagery does indicate that this storm does indeed have a core already. Um, so, National Hurricane Center do forecast this to be a hurricane at this time tomorrow, uh, which would be a, certainly a feat um, to go from basically a uh, 25 knots invest, that's uh, around 30 miles per hour, to a hurricane 24 hours. That's, that's quite impressive, uh, especially for the uh, first name sort of an, of an Eastern Pacific hurricane season. But nonetheless, here it is. Uh, first one of the season, of course, uh, wouldn't surprise me if we have another one on the way uh, with another area of interest off towards its east. That one probably is a bigger land threat, uh, but Adrian, and now to see Category 1 Hurricane intensifying, just formed as it heads off towards the west, 85 mile per hour peak, and uh, Eastern Pacific Hurricane season finally getting off to a start here on June 27th, 2023. Let's see what the season is made of over the next few months.